the Stackopolis Jack here, and you know what we're bringing you today. We're bringing you IDEX. They released their earnings this afternoon, and boy, they did not disappoint. Yeah, well, I was wrong about my predictions about volume. It was actually lower. I guess that was due to some, you know, anticipation. Just people that believe that the earnings are going to be worse off. But boy, oh boy, did we see a takeoff after hours currently sitting at 320 up nine and a half percent now let's get right into it revenues for the year and at december 30th of last year 2020 were 26.8 million of course they did they weren't able to include energica or timio to um not all of their revenue yes so you can only imagine what the pre what the next quarters are going to be like it's going to be amazing significant resources available to drive long-term growth plan, continue strength in the EV industry, progress in the mobility unit activities. As the value of the S2F 2C business model gains traction in the EV sector, this is great, guys. It's great. You gotta get pumped up. If you like IDEX as much as me. <laughs> so, revenue for the year, like I said, was 26.8 million sequential quarter over quarter growth demonstrating the growing strength of our dynamics business quarter over quarter growth is always great ev revenue in 2020 was 19.5 million and remember this is without medici motor works versus 2.7 million in 2019 an increase of 16.8 million or more than 600 percent 2020 revenues included a first sales of charging and battery systems a part of the EV ecosystem that is very important to Audionomics S2F2C business model. We expect revenues from charging systems to grow as Wave. Our charging business acquired in January 2021 is included in our financial results starting this quarter. Revenues for the full, for the full year 2019 were 44.6 million, of course, which is more. But you see, however, 40.7 million was generated from the digital asset management service contract that produced no revenues in the 2020 year and is not expected to produce any more res any more revenues in the foreseeable future so guys i am pumped this was great this is what we've been needing a bounce back in idex great great stuff coming up i can't wait what the, to see what the future brings and elf poor posts on twitter just before the earnings was announced bosses as you can see, Audionomics posted this electrification army is ready for the mission ahead. And we zoom in here. Look. Look, Medici Motorworks. Woo, bosses. Let's go. And, of course, with the price action going up and Friday holding, what? Friday could hold anything. It could go up more. People could sell at a position. But the short volume ratio is currently 21% as of the information given by Fintel. I don't really I don't really follow short interest as much. 21% short of. As you can see, there's zero shorts available to trade. That is big. And that's last update 17 minutes. This means that shorts, you know, if the price continues to run up, because the spike of 10%, they could have to cover for their positions. But again, I'm not an expert in this field. So guys, I just wanted to bring you another Idex video. I know, um, I had to, I had to bring it after this great, these great earnings, and some people thought that they weren't going to be the greatest, but they were putting up the revenue numbers again without some key sources within their company they have now of revenue, and throughout COVID, which do have do have an effect on companies. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.